Hello, my name is Monica Bednarek and I use Lawrence, Anthony's and Conk in teaching Corpus Linguistics to students. So this is a little video showing you how to do um, a keyword list using AntConk. So for this demonstration I'm going to assume that you've already loaded your node corpus into AntConk. And you can see that I've done this here on the left hand side. Um, so I've loaded 15 corpus files into AntConk software and they're actually speeches by Barack Obama before he was elected president for the first time. So the first thing to do as always is just to go to the tool preferences and to just double check the settings. First thing I want to do is I want to check the settings for word list. And here I just want to make sure that I've clicked um, treat all data as lowercase. This is because um, a keyword list always um, has to do word list first. And I'm going to go um, and also look at the settings for the keyword list. And a few things that I want to do is, again, I want to make sure that I treat all data as lowercase because I'm not interested in differences when words are spelled with a, um, a capital initial capital letter or not. Sometimes you might be interested in, in those differences and then, of course, you would leave that unclicked. I also want to see um, negative keywords as well, as well as positive keywords. I'm just going to um, leave these values here as they are with the uh, statistical methods, methods used here to generate keywords list being log likelihood. The other thing that I need to do here is I need to actually choose a reference corpus to which I can compare my node corpus. So here um, this is where I load the reference corpus. Um, what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to load a reference corpus of um, American English um, and this is called the frown corpus. Um, if you're unfamiliar with what the frown corpus is you can easily uh, google that and find information about it on the internet. But it is a corpus of American English from the 1990s which I'm using here as a reference corpus. And I'm just going to click Apply. Um, then I just go to the Keyword List tab here. And you can see here that Treat All Data as Lowercase is um, clicked, the reference corpus is loaded, and the sorting that is applied is here to sort by key keyness. That is, it's sorting about statistical significance. And then I'm just going to press Start. And here you can see that Ancong needs to um, generate a word list first, which is why it's important to check the uh, tool preferences for word list. So I'm just going to click OK. So here you go. Um, you can see the positive keywords at the beginning of the reference list and then you can see the negative keywords um, in a different color at the bottom of the list if you scroll down. So these are the words that are less, statistically speaking, less um, significant, less frequent in the node corpus than in the reference corpus. Whereas these words here are the words that are, statistically speaking, more frequent in the node corpus than in the reference corpus. And you can see here um, quite clearly references to we, our, America, country, people, nation, um, Americans and so on are, are pretty typical of, of political, um, political speeches. And of course, um, if we look at can as well, um, th this, this notion of um, Yes, we can, of course, um, as a, partic a particular um, example that was uh, crucial for, for Barack Obama's um, election campaign and other things as well. And as, you, as I just showed you, you can actually click, you can actually click on, the, uh, on the results, which then, of course, takes you to the concordance line and that lets you see um, the dispersion, for example, and how many files and how many of the speeches does the keyword actually occur. And you can just simply see that on the right. Of course, you can also go to the concordance plot, where again, you would actually see um, how many hits it has in, in, in the file. So it has 15 hits in the a more perfect union text, but only two in, the, um, in this um, Prince William County speech. 
So if we go back to the keyword list, then you see what this is sorted. Um, it, this is sorted according to keyness, so according to the statistical measure, but we can actually change um, the sorting as well. So for example, we want to know which other words um, that are also really frequent, then we would just go and sort by frequent frequency and do the sorting again. And you can see that, of course, um, grammatical words are higher up in the list here because um, they are the words that are uh, likely to be very frequent. So this is how you do a uh, keyword list using AntConc.